Vibes Cartel Lawyer has been found guilty of professional misconduct. Yes, my people, so it seems like Cartel Lawyer Isat Buchanan is into some minor problems right about now. I have to say them minor, but maybe them not really minor, but that is what's taking place right about now. So you don't know, I'm going to go know the information. And recently, Vibes Cartel was moving. You don't know them bringing back down a GP. So the lawyer did a speak out and did a say um, Cartel rights was be, has been violated. And one bag of things, so you don't know what to touch on all of that is more people but also we're gonna talk about spice dominating the BET hip hop awards man I like people spice definitely look good trust me she look nice I know of course she link up with all of the top people them the top rappers them who are run the place now and all of them thing they saw I'm going to read an article as it relates to Spice, the queen of dancehall. Trust me, Spice, you definitely look good. I love what you have on, you see it? Anyway, people, before we go no further into the topics, make sure you like this video. See, it's not going to cost you a dollar if you click on the like button. And also subscribe if you don't subscribe yet. And click the notification bell on. That way you can get notified when I post a new video. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel Lawyer. And I'm going to just get into the story right away. And only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. Is it my people? So this is what the story is saying vibes cartel lawyer isat Buchanan found guilty of professional misconduct a disciplinary committee of the general legal counsel today found attorney at law isat Buchanan guilty of professional misconduct the decision was handed down at a virtual hearing attorney andre earl who is representing director of public prosecutions paula Llewellyn, who filed a complaint against Buchanan, told the gleaner that the panel ruled that the lawyer breached canon 1b of the legal profession canons of professional ethics rules. The section stipulates that an attorney shall at all times maintain the honor and dignity of the profession and shall abstain from behavior which may tend to discredit the profession of which he is a member. Earl says an sanction hearing in the matter has been set for October the 22nd. Among other things, Llewellyn took Buchanan to the GLC after he accused her office of being shady over a request to have the defense in the Vibes Cartel case re-examine a cell phone use as evidence in his murder trial in preparation for an appeal before the United Kingdom Privy, I mean Base Privy Council. He made the remarks in November 2020. Buchanan, one of the attorneys representing incarcerated dancehall artist Vibes Cartel, had argued that the handling of the matter by the DPP's office breached his client's constitutional right. But the DPP hit back, contending that Buchanan mischaracterized events and accused him of engaging in scurrilous, irresponsible and outrageous and reckless behavior. At the time, Lulin argued that her office was of the view that his conduct goes against the canons of the legal profession and such it will take. It grosses to the council for it to take disciplinary action. Buchanan was represented at the hearing by attorney John Clark. You see my people, so attorney is being represented by another attorney and thing, and that's just how the system works, isn't it? So, Paula Llewellyn, Mr. Wollipa people at Bashar in the comment section over upon the Gleaner page at about who and who she have strength for. And you know, Wollipa people don't like her because certain cases where she throw out, and you know, people feel like she's a bit shady as well. So, another cartel lawyer alone feel that way. A lot of Jamaicans feel that way about her. You understand what I'm saying, my people? So, what for watch how this play out? I'm not sure what will happen if, well, them same found guilty already, right, people? So I'm not sure how this will play out. You understand what I mean? Obviously, I'm not a lawyer, but it, it no sound like a something good. You understand what I mean? Obviously, I'm a lawyer for representing him and him have to defend himself and whatever, whatever. Just like a regular person who have a lawyer representing them and all of them things there. And also, remember recently, you know, him a bona fire upon the system because them come for cartel and them take him out in the rain and, you know, bring him down a GP. And he must say, look, you know, suppose cartel get pneumonia. And you don't know anything can happen when you bring out somebody out in, a, in a the weather and them things, you see me? And of course, all of that happened after the Fox 5 um, interview with Vibes Cartel fiancé. So, what for watch and see how this play out? You understand what I mean? People, they might don't know the DPP right now. <laughs> anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about your girl Spice, who definitely dominated the BET Hip Hop Awards. You see my people? So, let me get into this story right about now. You see it? So, it's a Spice Lays in Canary Ensemble at the BET Hip Hop Awards 2022. Spice stepped out like the queen that she is at the 2022 BET Hip Hop Awards 
Awards in Atlanta on Friday night, September the 30th. Like many of hip-hop's favorite stars that turned up at the Cobb Energy Center, the Queen of Dancehall made a solo appearance, stepping to take photos while wowing fans. Spice arrived on the red carpet, slain in a canary yellow embellished bodysuit, long sleeve slit maxi dress with a yellow slick back lace front, which triggered a frenzy among the shutterbugs. As expected, the always fierce and in charge dancehall star repped her image and country while showing off her striking red carpet ensemble. Jamaican queen, she asserted for the BET cameras as she flaunted her curves. The Jamaican fans back home were psyched to see their favorite celeb showing out at the BET award show. Yeah, yeah, thing. Thank you at Spice to represent us, said one person on an Instagram post shared by the Shade Room. Celebrity bestie Jody Jinx lauded her outfit, looking beautiful at Spice, she said in a consensus with a slew of other fans. At Spice, this is a slay, sis. You look really good. And why? She look better than everybody that just got posted. Others remarked, showing off fashions with Spice on the red carpet were a lister such as Lil Kim, Remy Ma, Kodak Black, French Montana, T.I. and Tiny, and the I Am Hip Hop Award recipient this year, Trina, plus several others. The ceremony, which was hosted by Fat Joe, may not air until next Tuesday, October the 4th, but the BET Hip Hop Awards was an epic celebration of the culture. The night featured a stellar lineup of performances, including David Banner, Busta Rhymes, Fivio Farin, Young Blue, Baby Tate, Amari Caesar, Riza, Redman Nori, Lil Kim, and Moneybag Yo. While fans caught a glimpse of the night's nominees Drake, Kanye West, Kendrick Lamar, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, J. Cole, Lato, Lizzo, Doja Cat, and others. As far as for what's next for the agenda for the Queen of Dancehall, she'll be making an appearance alongside Skilly Beng and the King of Soka, Michael Montana, in Guyana tonight, Saturday, October the 1st. Yes, yeah, my people, so that is what's going on as it relates to Dancehall Queen Spice. Looking beautiful. Beautiful as usual. Yes, oh man, say, she out there and she represent for the yardy. Yes, it or she represent for yard, me should I say. Yeah, go on do your thing, Spice. You see me? And you notice the people, I say, out of everybody who them share over upon the shared room. You know what I have to go up on the shared room page on Instagram for see all of the persons them who was in the collage, well, not collage, but who was posted in the same part where Spice is in. You know, they must say Spice look better than everybody. I don't think that's any disrespect, but Spice, you definitely slay. You understand? So, it's definitely a good look, my people. Let me know how much you rate Spice look because all the people seem to love it. You understand? You don't know straight 10 out of 10 she get. You see it, even though some people might say, you know, you don't know some people might still criticize it, but I feel like for the majority of people, them, them actually think say, she look good and me feel like she look good and thing. You see me? And the thing you notice, say, Spice, I wear a different color here. <laughs> And also, Mrs. Spice posts a photo with a female rapper named Ice Spice. The girl around the place. Well, I'm not going to say she around the place because you don't know. Nicki Minaj them and Cardi B them still do them thing. You see me? But you know, like how you have skin where kind of like um, the new sensation where people are talking about the girl named Ice Spice as she that. You see me? So, as I say, she was a song and a video named Munch and it's going with itself over upon World Star. The couple million views and things. So, Spice posts up the photo they were not seeing thing and in the caption she said, Spice and Spice, hashtag double spice. I Spice and Fivio Farin. She did also post a photo with Fivio Farin, is it? So I wonder if we're gonna get a collab with Spice and I Spice or I Spice featuring Spice. <laughs> Yes, I mean, anything possibly, you know, people, because you don't know Spice, um, seem like she's going to maybe start to do some collab with other people and things. We see recently she do a collab with an African girl or an African artist, um, and it did reach like a million views. The video reached a million views in a, like one day, so hopefully, you know, Spice are going to do some more international collabs and stuff like that. You understand me, I some more people. But yeah, it's a good look, you know. Big up yourself, you queen. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless up on yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out. Guys, make sure you go check out my website, www.grassinoir.com. It's live. Mm -hmm. Everything is on there. I've revamped it. And it's all about the travel boutique. So anything you want to travel, make sure you check it out. If you want socks for travel, if you want tracksuit for travel, if you want 
resort wear when you go to the hotel for look nice and so if you want swimwear what else we sell and see everything where everything. you want mm -hmm. everything all about the travel here. boutique we have the handbags the tote we have the luggage them then you could have really see me and say luggage and you go buy one you're crazy mm -hmm. you have to have a black phone luggage to travel with everything is there and so. mm -hmm. everything people people you don't so, know so make sure you check out grassy noir www.grassynoir.com g-r-a-c-i it's not grace it's grassy and it means thankful and godful. You don't know the thing, You don't know. So, yeah, I'm going to leave you know because, like I say, I'm, I'm really, really, I really want to lose about 30 pounds. I'm good. 